I mean Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV and a night that saw Liverpool lose 1-0 to FC Basel in the Champions League. We've spoken to a lot of the lads who came into the studio today to do the match day. Live shows, disappointed, dejected. Pick an adjective that basically describes the misery that is being a Liverpool fan right now. Someone pointed out to me it's like the good old days when we first started out Redmen and we had to do these after Roy fucking Hodgson. Um, just the, the black cloud, as Mike said, is hanging over the heads of Liverpool fans right now. And the worst thing about it in that game is it didn't, it didn't have to be that way. You know, it's been mentioned... But for a ridiculous, stupid, you know, God, in its scale on the head, in its Lovren, Mignolet makes a save and it forces Australia, who sticks in. But for just a moment of just madness at the back, you're coming away with a point and probably a pretty good point from that game. The second we had to rely on getting a goal, it just never looked like it was going to happen. And even when it, we got into the positions to actually do something about it, there's just something not there about Liverpool right now. Raheem Sterling is 19 years old and looks like he's basically been told... Yeah, Suarez has gone. It's all on you now, Raheem. And that's ludicrous. Absolutely ridiculous that you can put that kind of pressure on a 19-year-old kid. And he, he's had... He, the worst thing is he's actually had some decent, a decent enough game, but by his high standards, he was poor tonight. And the thing about it, he wasn't the only one. Markovic got a lot of criticism, but he's another one. He's, you know, we, we, I know we've paid a lot of... Uh, we've paid £20 million pounds for him. We're expecting the world from him. But Brendan Rodgers has put him in the firing line there. Maybe he's trying to play him into four, maybe he believes he's good enough. And fair play, you know, if he comes in today and he gets the goal, it looks like a decision vindicated, but he's not playing, he's not in form, doesn't seem to be quite fitting with the Liverpool way of playing. Adam Lallana, he finally seems to have gel with Liverpool, starts the game on the bench, comes off the bench and actually has a real impact on the way Liverpool play. Should have started for me, should we have changed the tactics, Fabio Barini. Once they went to three at the back, we should have gone for two up top and just put more pressure on them if we're going to go for it. Because it's one of those decisions, if you try to, if you say, well, fine, we'll sit back and try it on the counter, that's fine. But if they get the goal, as they did, you've got to change your game plan. It wasn't right, it wasn't right for Liverpool. We should have, you know, got all or nothing as far as I'm concerned. And maybe that's just being a bit, maybe I'm just a bit wild until post-match. But I feel like we should have maybe had a, a try to have a better goal. And once you just... Ricky Lambert and Mario Balotelli as your two forwards, they're just the same, the same person. Basically playing up front, except that it's the, I mean, if Balotelli's not prolific in front of goal for Liverpool at the minute, Ricky Lampard, God bless him, he's most certainly not. Berini, I think, deserves to get a little bit of a look in there. Anyway, let's go to the Twitter and get some of your comments. Uh, Clark Gates Johnson, no fast, simple passing, like new tactics didn't work, didn't play well, didn't even look like LFC when we play shite. Um, Alistair C. Hogg is back on the smokes tonight. <laughs> Support an LFC will kill me. Yeah, I think you know what we. Uh, I think we know what you mean there, mate. Uh, Mikey Junior tears his beard has to go back to basics. Too big headed now. I think we have gone back to basics. To, to be perfectly honest, I think the formation we're playing similar to what we were doing last season when Suarez was suspended. And but we were relying on Sturridge to score goals for us there, and we just don't have a player like that. And I think we're trying to be too pragmatic when we're. We probably better off just gonna just going all guns blazing, putting two up top, putting Barini in there for better or for worse, and maybe seeing what happens. I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, K Brown to twenty one two three zero. Piss poor again. Let's write this shite season off already. Uh, I thought we were making progress. Fuck this season. Oh, man, shit. Oh, fucking hell, it's not that bad. Let's write this season off already. Look, yes, a lot's gonna hinge on the return of Daniel Sturridge, but. That's what we've got to do. We've got to hope that Daniel Sturridge comes in as a revelatory effect on Liverpool's play, and particularly our play in the final third. It could surely only get better. I don't know. I, you know, I, I, I can understand if people are upset, upset and annoyed after that performance. Fine, but again, if we'd been, I don't think we were utterly shite tonight. I've seen loads of worse performances. That on another day, Raheem Sterling has those opportunities and he buries them. And we're talking about a game that Liverpool turn around, but Liverpool come out on top on. On another day, again, we get a point from that, and that's probably a decent point. So, if we have to search for positives, it wasn't that we were we were absolutely catastrophically awful. We just it's still exactly the same problem we're seeing replicated time and time again. Hopefully Daniel Sturridge is the answer and hopefully, dear God, he stays fit. Because God knows, I can't stand the season. If we have to play like that for the rest of the season, then yeah, 
fucking hell get under the bed covers and get back on the smoke anyway um, thanks very much for watching keep your heads up uh, leave, let us know your thoughts man of the match if I had to give man of the match I'd struggle so I'm not going to let us know who you think should be man of the match in the comments section underneath we're going to be doing the final words show which I'm sure will be a thrill fest we're going to film that tomorrow on the redmantv.com don't forget to vote for us in the FBAs and don't forget to subscribe to us by clicking the button somewhere over there anyway Paul Major for the Redmen TV shine it off Ta-da. Disappointed, dejected, pick an adjective that basically describes the misery that is being a Liverpool fan right now. Someone points out to me it's like the good old days when we first started out Redmen and we had to do these after Roy fucking Hodgson 